you Virgos welcome back to my channel this is Kelly from House of Virgo hope you're all doing well happy holidays um, so this is a Virgo channel only if you are new welcome please do hit like share and subscribe and if you're returning hi everybody good to see you again hello to all of my moderators and everyone in the chat um, personal reading link if you would like to get a personal phone call reading with me, there's a link in the description box below this video. Just click that link and you'll be able to just go straight away and book your reading with me. All right, you guys. And membership to join my channel um, is currently open. So just go over, um, I think the bottom of this video, there's a join button or you can um, just click membership in my tab there on my channel page. Um, and I'm going to begin um, in January, okay? So whenever you're ready to join, just click that button and you will get unlimited Q&A opportunities to ask me questions and I'll pull cards in the live chat and that's for members only, okay? All right, you guys, so let's get started. See what the Virgo love drama is going on for you in the month of December. Virgo love drama. Okay. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding with this? This was the same as the last reading. Unrequited love. Something is... Okay, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now and it's safe for you to love. Okay. Let's take a look. I need to take a look at this because the last reading I did was pretty tough. I know, it was pretty tough. What is this unrequited love? Not enough attraction? Okay. Okay, they just gave me... So, um, someone that you... There's someone connected to you, Virgo, who may be in... Hold on, I'm trying to get my uh, music up here. There's someone connected to you that is making a decision um whomever they were involved with before it feels like it's not working or it's not happening okay now you might not know this person okay or you might meet this person in um the month of december okay where there's an energy where uh, this person connected to you is is kind of in the situation where I feel you're going to meet somebody or it's a past person. Either one is, will say, yeah, I've been in this relationship and it hasn't been working out or it's just I'm not attracted to that person anymore or it's just not the direction and the path. I, I feel like I'm, I'm going to end something or I recently ended something with another person because it just wasn't working out I, I, I'm not in love with them I don't feel safe with this relationship and I want to um, find someone that I feel safe and comfortable with and that's what I feel like that energy is now for some of you it's you where you're involved with someone or you were and it's like you're making this decision here in December like I don't feel safe with this person or it, the, the love is gone or I'm not attracted to this person anymore to keep is it even worth to keep it going I feel like a lot of you are coming into this place now where you're you're really making this decision for yourselves if you haven't already where you're kind of like oh, I think I need to move on I think I need to find someone um, where our love is equal and it's there's reciprocity and there's a match um, it just feels like someone's coming to terms with something here. Now let's take a look and see what the other love energy is here. There's definitely, December is a, is a period of somebody's making a decision, okay, about love. All right, let's see. Okay, so somebody's making a decision to get a new job, or learn some new skills there's um also maybe going back to school and making that a priority okay page of swords energy virgo somebody's watching you work i'm hearing 
are keeping an eye on you, um, talking about you. If you're hearing your ears ringing, I don't know if you've heard any ear ringing lately. Um, this feels like somebody's communicating with other people um, about you. Okay, we've got a King of Cups here. So this is the first court card. So that's Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. There is somebody here with that air, with that water sign energy who's watching you, watching you work, keeping their eye on you. The Three of Pentacles energy is somebody's training, either training, there's teamwork, collaboration, uh, skill, work skills. Okay, let me see here. Somebody could be watching you at work. They could be watching you um, or talking about you. Yeah, there could be a little bit of gossip. Gossip, if there's curiosity here, spying, somebody seeking the truth. Okay. Seven of Wands energy. So, okay, Virgo, this is kind of like they're this person is doing this from behind the scenes like they're under like some kind of protective watch <laughs> i don't know if this person's in like maybe witness protection i don't know what's going on but it, this is kind of being done behind the scenes like they're not showing themselves they're not showing uh that they're doing this activity so it's 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 a little bit hidden okay so four of wands energy all right you guys i mean somebody's for some it's you could be married to this person um, or in a relationship where you guys could live together and um, okay so they're watching you at home um, or they're keeping an eye on you at, on you at home maybe you live near each other um, they also could be watching to see if you're with somebody else if you've remarried or in, you're in another relationship, these are both marriage cards, or if you're in another partnership with someone, heavy duty watching. And I feel like there's communication coming to you where it's kind of like, what are you doing? Who are you with? Who are you? T are you dating anyone? Are you talking to anyone? Are you talking to other friends? Are you going outside of the relationship you know i feel like this person's picking up some energy here that you're like on the verge of disappearing or getting out of us getting out of something here virgo and they're picking it up you may for some of you you may have just disengaged um, because you don't feel like there's anything in the connection to move it forward okay to keep the relationship going and now you're making some kind of decision about whether to stay or go right okay look at all these marriage cards commitment i feel like this this person's really looking to see if you are leaving or walking away from them um because of somebody else now for some of you that could be the case and for others it might just be nope yeah myself walking away and doing me right some of you could just have that focus on yourselves at this time you know not everybody leaves a relationship to go because they want to be with somebody else some people do but that's not always the case sometimes it's just this just isn't working out and there's nobody else in the picture and sometimes people just leave because they just want to regroup recharge start their lives over relocate do whatever they need to do for themselves so I think this person thinks that that is something that like you are leaving for somebody else, leaving them for another person. Now, some of you might be, and they might be, you know, the King of Cups is very intuitive, um, has that vibrational energy from an emotional standpoint, okay? Um, but I'm not looking here to see if that's what's going on. I'm looking to see if that's what you're doing. You all know your own story. Okay. So Tarian energy is here. Taurus as well. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, they're looking to see if you um if you're no if you're at the end of carrying like you feel stressed by the connection. You feel stressed by the partnership or the marriage, okay? And this person is watching you, I feel, behind the scenes. Okay, they just told me, um, okay, it's going to sound strange. Like if you're at a place of work or a place that you go to, um, they're like kind of hiding behind the bushes. <laughs> That's kind of freaky. But yeah, like kind of hiding behind the bushes it feels very like sneaky watching spying energy they're hiding behind something that's what i want you to know they don't it doesn't have to be an actual physical bush like they could be walking they could be sitting in a coffee shop um and have like a, a hat on and their head down real far you know um or a newspaper or a book in front of their head you know, so that you can't see them. It just feels like behind the scenes, watching you behind the scenes kind of thing going on, trying to get some information about what you're doing. Some of you did not tell a person that you are ending a relationship. Maybe purposefully don't want to, or maybe some of you are just haven't gotten to that stage yet. But I feel like this person, I, I look at this King of Cups and I just see suspicion, suspicion, peering, suspicion, trying to see, peer and see something that they cannot see, male or female energy. Here's the Queen of Cups, okay? So no matter what your person's sign is or what this person's sign is, and this could be a friend or a lover, um, you're definitely being watched. You're definitely being spied on. Um, and this person comes through as water energy. It doesn't matter what their sign is. This person comes through, for some of you, that could be a very smothering, insecure person or have codependency issues can't let you go they could be very abusive or they could be an emotional manipulator um, for some of you okay generally in the upright the king and queen of cups are very nurturing empathetic supportive people but you're you know i try to touch on all areas um, for some of you that is what your person could have been to you but there may just not have been enough attraction or chemistry or even compatibility to keep the relationship moving forward okay it's very interesting okay So at this time, I feel like your person is engrossed in a work thing or something in front of them that is distracting them. This is kind of like something I feel that they have to do every single day, something, a task. It feels like they're at, they're, they're at some kind of task that they have to take care of every single day. They're quite distracted. Um, there may not be communication because of this, but I do feel that there's going to be a huge change from that with this person. Let's get a little more, uh, some more messages here. Hmm. Now, for some of you, this person is going to, um, run away, leave. If there's no communication or if they find something out, this person is very suspicious and they will run with their suspicions before getting the facts. Okay, so for those of you who, if you have somebody else in the picture already and you're done with this relationship, this person is going to leave and they're not going to try to win you back. <clears throat> okay, I want to tell you that. 
And then for others, the other message I'm getting here is that whether you are with someone or not, um, when this person is finished, what is taking them away from what they're doing, they're going to they're going to go into stealth mode to try to win you back. Okay, what does that mean? Oh, Ace of Cups here. Yeah. So the previous message that I gave to some of you about if you've already been with someone and you're done and you're done with this relationship and you're moving on, this person basically is getting the hint. It's a small percentage of you, but this person's basically getting the hint and they're not going to try to fight for the connection. Oh, hello. And then for others of you, like I said, once they're done doing what they're doing, or trying to figure out what's going on here. Um, I mean, once they're done with their task, um, there's going to be a huge shift. And I feel this is going to come, you know, we have a big wreath here. So I do feel around the Christmas holiday, um, close to that time period. Um, there's going to be a love offer or some type of proposal from this person. Um, mostly, like I said, they're curious about what's going on with you, maybe because there isn't any communication, although they are inundated with their own tasks at this time. I do feel they're going to be a little deceptive in their communication. Um, so what does that mean? I feel like if they sense that maybe there's some sneakiness coming from you, they're gonna they're definitely curious about what's going on they this person senses there's some kind of you know that's seven of sword energy kind of like dishonesty of, of some sort um they're gonna keep that to themselves they're that's gonna be remain a secret they're not they're gonna ask you i feel when they reach out to you with curious questions you know what's going on things like that but they're not going to accuse you of anything is how i feel um, this person, it just feels like they are naturally suspicious. And I feel like with this Ace of Cups here, like the love though is bigger and greater that they have for you versus their suspicions and their paranoia. Okay. Um, and instead they're going to try to bring, bring peace. Okay. They just gave you, okay, three cards here interesting so the five of swords queen of pentacles that's you yeah some of you i do feel so this person okay some of you i do feel like you you're just cutting everything off here because you're you're not trying to renew any kind of false hope about any relationship that you feel isn't going to progress a lot of you just took your blinders off and you're kind of aware at this point now you're focusing on you know your money all the tangible things in your life the things that you know are mainstays in your life okay whatever that means for you the things that you can actually touch and feel the things that are like they're yours and they belong to you and you know that that's they're not going anywhere you're very focused on that security Okay, um, but I get a sense that you're, yeah, you're on a new path here, Virgo. You're looking for that safety and security in a relationship or with, you know, just in general in a relationship. And I just feel like for a lot of you, you're coming to terms with this. You're coming to terms. But I feel like this person is going to try to initiate communication um, they've got questions, they're very curious about you. And this Ace of Cups, I feel like this person truly does love you very much. I have a big, big cup of love for you um, in that my cup runneth over kind of feeling. But at the same time, I don't know why this person holds back from telling you how they truly feel. You know, they just run away. Um, for some of you, it feels that way for you, that they just, that's what this uh, Seven of Swords energy is. This is a card of running away. 
Um, they betray themselves, they betray their feelings, they keep those things deep, deep down in the darkest depths of their heart and their emotions. They just, they have a fear also, is what they hide, is of being betrayed. So they don't put themselves out there, right? And that's not your battle to nurture, um, yet it feel like Ace of Cups energy is always a card of healing as well. And Virgo, <laughs> you're like the, you know, you're like the Virgin Mary. You're like the Mother Teresa. You know, you're like the martyr, male or female energy, divine masculine, divine feminine. You have that healing energy. You know, um, you're part of the earth. The earth is always giving. You know, as always, the earth provides. The earth is abundance. You know, the 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 plants and the air. The plants give the air. It's like the 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 uh, the cycles of the season. You know, your mother earth, your father earth. That's what you are. You're a provider. You never have to worry about the animals never having food because Mother Nature. <laughs> always provides none of us are out here feeding taking care of all the animals you know i'm not out there feeding the squirrels every day earth provides that and that's what you're all about and i feel like this person knows that about you but they have stuff within them that goes on i mean i feel virgo that their love for you is so huge is so I mean this is the biggest cup that you can get in the in the tarot their love for you is so big my cup runneth over look at all that and they definitely have a fear of betrayal and they won't tell you that for some of you maybe you heard that maybe they told you um, that they're just so afraid if they open their heart that they're going to get hurt or they've been some of you they may have said they have they've been hurt in the past okay but boy i'll tell you what i mean i feel like this person it feels like an energy of um with this person here what i see like go away but don't leave me kind of thing you know Here's the two of you being happy together and then the pushback, you know, go away, but stay. And I feel like Virgo, that just kind of makes you feel like this is a false start. It just doesn't really move forward. And a lot of you have, are just in this position of like, I just have to go after what I want. I don't feel safe or secure. And I need to find someone who isn't afraid to love me as much as I love them, right? Okay, so listen, Virgo, I'm gonna tell you this, okay? <laughs> this person is going to make that proposal to you. They're not gonna do it to break your heart. Um, they're gonna do it in, in spite of a broken heart. Because this person, maybe when you met them, they already had her heart, their heart broken. There may have already been betrayal. But in spite of that, they're going to make that love offer, that proposal to you. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean they're going to propose marriage? For some of you, yeah, it could be. For others, it's, it's, it's going to be they're finally going to give you their love. You know, the universe sends this to them, this big cup of love. And they pluck it down out of the out of the sky and they carry it and bring it to you so yeah they are they they will they want to you know will they, will they do it immediately or right away i'm not sure but they want to and i think it's mostly to do not because you're leaving or not because there's guilt or anything like that but but because you guys are on this journey you've been on this journey together and there's been a lot of lessons to be learned between the two of you and about the self. And I feel like this person wants to, 
bring in the medicine for your broken heart, okay? Maybe some of you are having some kind of surgery or heart surgery or, or someone is and someone is coming with like, you know, the medicine in the cup, the feel good stuff, okay? Uh, someone might just have, might be ill and another person wants like takes sees this as an opportunity to come in and and take care of another person you know oh they're sick this is the perfect opportunity for me to come in and show my love you know i feel like that energy is either going to come from them or um for some of you it could be coming from you where even though something's not working out here um like you, Virgo, you're just always going to be Virgo. I mean, quit lying, <laughs> Virgo. Even, you know, it, it, no matter what you go through, when you get over the betrayal, um, yeah, when Virgo's done, Virgo's done. But it doesn't mean Virgo's ever going to stop caring for other people. Virgos are like the nurses and the physicians of the Zodiac, you know. Virgo may say, well, you're just a real piece of shit stain or whatever, and you really hurt me, and, you know, But if you need something, either I'll send it to you by way of somebody else or uh, I'll do it for you. You know, I mean, unfortunately, Virgo gets the rap of being very codependent and doormat in the relationship. And, and I, I want to tell you there's a fine line, I think, for you, Virgo, um, because there is a tendency for you sometimes to overgive in the relationship, right? You know that, right? And I just think that Virgo is the one sign that just needs the boundaries when it comes to that. That's all, you know. Um, it's not bad to be giving. It's not bad to share or to help others ever. Just know, uh, just draw lines where you need to draw lines. That's all, okay. I feel like I needed to go off sideways with that for some reason. Okay. So I feel like, again, like I said, there's going to be communication here from someone to try and overcome some obstacles. This is definitely a card of surgery. You can even look that up. So I don't know if there is someone that's going through a surgical procedure or something, or may be coming up on one or, you know, something along those lines. But there may also be some truth telling here. There may have been a third party in this situation. And that kept this relationship from moving forward. And I was saying in the beginning, this person, um, coming to terms with whomever they were with before uh it's not enough to keep the relationship going and and you're their true heart you are their true love and here i'm going to come in and i'm going to tell you why i put that third party uh, what i did this is giving you clarity mental clarity communicating what happened here with this heartbreak thing or this argument or why I said what I said or why I kept driving driving the daggers into your heart with my words okay and I'm sorry and a, and a true gesture of making it up to you as well if that was your situation okay so we have the chariot here so taking action, making changes from this person could be at a distance from some of you. Um, there could be a racial for some black and white. It doesn't have to be that, but you know, there could be a racial differences between two people. I actually never saw that with this card. So these are channeled messages that I'm picking up here. It doesn't, you know, there could be racial difference. There's op the black and white. This could be very much yin and yang differences one of you might be yang one of you might be yin or you both might be yin or both yang and then kind of like figuring out blending together trying to find ways to compromise and make something work bring balance into the situation okay somebody's coming to see you or traveling or you to them um to talk to have a conversation yeah at first i was kind of feeling like um maybe a gift or definitely an apology um there may be some communication that they um this person wants to come see you to talk to you 
and to apologize, okay? You might even get a picture of someone's, uh, them standing by a car, I just heard. Standing by a car, maybe they get a new car, they send you a picture of this. Um, or like a selfie. I always say it's my selfie card. Like, doesn't that look like when you stand there and you hold the selfie in front of your face? <laughs> you know, and with the fish in here, I always feel like it's a fish eye, like a lens. <laughs> Guys, sometimes the messages I get, I'm just like, what is going on? Person might be wearing a blue shirt or maybe they have a blue hat on. Okay. Um... And yeah, I just saw this too. This kind of looks like the shape of a heart a little bit. For some, this is a sweet text message or, or um, communication. Somebody's, um, for some I just heard that there's a child coming to see you. Um, maybe around the holidays, a child is coming or someone's bringing a child to you. There could be a pregnancy. Some of you might find out about a pregnancy that's unexpected. Well, no, I'm not seeing unexpected here just yet. This could be a planned pregnancy. Okay. Yeah, here we have the Ten of Pentacles. So there's definitely relocation. Somebody, so when I say pregnancy, start a family, leave a legacy, that's that's having children, that's getting married, that's bringing families together. There could be an invite um, for the holidays to a family get together or meeting family members. Um, this is also an energy of... Um, I feel like um, for some of you, this is also they're saying um, a work party, going to a work party or an invite to a work party. And also, um, hmm. now they're just giving me, this is strange. I'm hearing a record company, um, like a record company, you know, or someone's a producer or music or something and they have like platinum what are those things called they're round they look like records and they hang on the wall I just I'm seeing that maybe somebody's a DJ or there's a party with a DJ or, or somebody works as a DJ and um, I'm just hearing they're giving me Great Dane or Great Danes, okay? Great Danes. Oh, and I'm getting a wicker chair. Hold on a minute. And they're just telling me something to do with an eagle as well. I'm picking up like an eagle. Like a bald eagle, eagle, military maybe? Okay, all right, so there's definitely an apology and some gifts and someone um, is thinking about you a lot right now, Virgo. Um, they're reminiscing on the good memories, the positives, the laughs, the joys. Um, there's also some gift giving with children too, but I'm seeing, um, kindness and I'm seeing sincerity here um, and definitely some kind of a reunion or reconciliation okay this is your twin flame you guys look so there is definitely going to be some opening up um, there's a wake-up call happening here about your love absolutely and um, this Gemini energy, Scorpionic energy, we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Aquarius, Taurus, uh, Pisces. Um, interesting, no fire. So that doesn't mean, um, well, maybe Leo, doesn't mean there's no fire sign involved. 
Um, it might even be more significant that, if, that the fire sign is really not showing up here. Because for those of you who had a connection with a fire sign, um, it means that they've been really absent, like off the grid. And now they're like, where are you? Okay, so I feel like there's a wake up call here about your connection. This is a twin flame, very much. This, this is always my twin flame card, the lovers. Okay, wake up call about the depth of the love that you two shared between you or that this person feels for you. Okay, and that how they are a better person with you than without you. Okay. So this is definitely an energy of like a decision is being made here after this wake up call comes for this person. They're making a final decision here. So what I feel like is happening here is you're making a decision to walk out the door and this person's making a decision to walk in your door, like both permanent decisions. Okay. Um, and I don't feel like this person's decision is coming by way of you leaving. I feel like they just sense that this might be it. This might be the end here. And this is the last shot. And they just, judgment happens not by choice. Um, major arcana cards happen not by choice. These are life-changing moments. So this feels more like an epiphany that is happening. Uh, clarity just comes to them, okay? Uh, their life's purpose is with you. They have no life purpose without you. That's how they feel. And that doesn't mean, of course, Virgo, that you got to go back. <laughs> you know, um, you do whatever you like. As I always say, um, I want to see, hold on a minute, I get some cards mixed up here, what the love messages are. So you guys, please be patient with me. I'm, I have a lot of stuff going on in my personal life that um, really needs my attention. There's some nights I just am not able to get here. Um, so I know I keep saying that, but somebody left me a comment. It's probably a troll. Um, and I don't even know if it was specifically for me, but I removed the comment. But it was just more along the lines of, you are so unreliable. I'm done. And I'm thinking, okay, either that was to me or that was somebody just venting about someone in their reading, which probably is what it was, but I still feel the need to tell you guys that, um, you know, there's gonna be some nights I'm not gonna be here, and this is all pretty much throughout December, but I'm gonna do my best, okay? So understand. If you don't mind, I would appreciate it, and don't forget to hit join. Um, the join button to join the membership to become a member of my channel here. You'll see all the perks once you click on that button. All right, let's see. Okay, I will wait for a sign from you. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. And we will be together again. I feel like this person has a lot of faith. I was trying to keep the faith about you. Um, I'm so, there's a lot of renewal and hope and reunion and reconciliation cards here on this table. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I want you, Virgo. You speak to me through music. I did say, I did mention music here, so that might be for someone specific. I know I messed up everything. I'm afraid to contact you. Huh. There's the Ten of Pentacles again, just showed up in my deck. Just like that, how strange. Music, music, remember? Platinum Records, a record company or something for some of you. Leaving a legacy, having a family. This could be real estate, something to do with real estate. Or um, family celebration or party. Now I'm getting a Labrador and I'm getting a German Shepherd. Okay. <laughs> I'm starting to understand our connection. Well, Virgo, listen, we're gonna end it right there. Cause that right there is this clarity about our connection. Okay. And it's a very, very beautiful reading. I know compared to the last reading, <laughs> I, was a, I, was, I was a Miss Preacher. I was Miss Preacher in the last reading. And guess what? Sometimes it happens. Somebody needs to hear certain things. 
and I'm not afraid to bring it out. If it comes out, it comes out. Let's see. What are your messages of love? Okay, here and now, your true love is already part of your life, Virgo. This is your person. This is your person. Okay, they've been here the whole time. In and out, maybe, for some of you. Support, lean on your inner circle during this time, Virgo. Very important for you. Find your soul tribe. Have, your soul tribe will support you. Your soul tribe are not going to be people that are going to say, get away from that person or stay with that person. Your soul tribe is going to say, whatever you feel is best for you, no matter what decision you make, we got your back. 100%. No matter what. Your soul tribe is never going to be controlling of you. Your soul tribe is just going to support you. Okay? Release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. Okay? Surrender is always good. When you're in the middle of a situation that you just can't figure out what to do with and you're stressing about it and your brain's... You're fried and you're exhausted. That's when you just got to surrender. And sometimes surrender just looks like, I don't know, putting on Netflix and getting lost in a series for a little while because you want to, you got to self care, right? This is a past life love, Virgo. That's what I'm telling you. Your soul remembers this intense connection. Past, past, past. Reunion, reconciliation all over this reading. And patience. Virgo, everything will unfold in divine timing. And I feel like your message there is just let things evolve naturally. Let things unfold naturally. You don't have to do anything here. You just have to be. All right, let's get into... Oh, there's a couple extra cards I want to pull here that I did not... I didn't take care of that, so let's see. You guys, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. All right, let's see. I want to get a couple of moon pie messages. Let's see what other messages there are for you here. Okay. Trust your intuition. The answer lies deep within you. Trust spirit. Wait for answers to be revealed to you, Virgo. Okay, direct, honest female. Very interesting. That's air energy. That's um, Libra, Aquarius, Gen Gemini. Um, it's male or female. But for some of you, there may be a direct, honest female around you, or that's you. Um, that person could be telling you to just wait, don't do anything, trust your gut. Okay past returns this is a past reading you guys i mean spying and deception okay somebody's secretly watching you and you don't know or you will find out well i'm telling you now there's definitely an energy here spying and the deception part, I don't feel like somebody's lying to you right now. I just feel like they're secretly watching you. Like they're being deceptive. They're deceiving. You can't see it. You don't know. They just It's behind the scenes. It's just the behind the scenes kind of energy. What the heck is this? Okay. Spiritual principles. Traditional roles bring structure and help aid you on your path. What are your spiritual beliefs, Virgo? Will you conform? What path are you on to lead you into where you'd like to go? Check with yourself. And that's kind of what I feel like is going on here right now. A lot of you are making this decision based on your spiritual beliefs or traditional upbringing. Clearly deciding what you want so that it comes to you now. And definitely I feel like... So what I mean by that, some of you are used to traditional roles in uh, relationships. You might be asking yourself, does this align with my spiritual beliefs or my moral values? There's a lot of this could have something to do with why um, you're moving on, okay? Um, some of you are not sure and maybe you're checking or will be checking 
you know, with your, what you conform to and what you don't conform to. Some of you are involved with someone who has completely different traditional or spiritual upbringing or moral upbringing, and that might be playing a role in your decision. Okay, but the message here is for you to get going. The message here is don't waste time. Go after what you want. Don't hesitate. The blockages will begin to be removed. All right, and you are getting, that's a Page of Cups energy. A sweet text message is coming in for you, Virgo, from somebody. Um, so we were feeling, I, the message I was getting was something like curious about you or what you're doing or what you've been up to, but it's coming through, not in a harsh, critical way. Usually a Page of uh, Swords can be a little harsh and kind of bratty, but it's coupled with the Page of Cups. So when I have those two cards together, the energy is fluid. So it's kind of like, it's a sincere curiosity and it's done in a sweet way. It's not bold, it's not harsh, it's not controlling and it's not mean. It's softened with the Page of Cups energy, okay? Now it might just be how this person operates or it might, Truly, I mean, they could be a very sincere person, or they might just be, it might be out of the ordinary for them to be that way with you. And it might, I don't feel like it's going to surprise you so much because I wasn't picking up any cards of surprise. But it may just kind of have you like, hmm, what's going on? All right, let's get some dates for all of this to be occurring. That's the first thing they wanted to say. This energy occurring, what dates in the month of December? Okay, for some of you, this has already happened on the December 1st or around that time. Hmm. Okay, this person is coming across to me as someone who's like quite athletic or active, physically active. Okay, so for others, um, I'm hearing for some, okay, the week of the first through the seventh, some of you may have received something there, this already began. For others, I am picking up around the 17th, there's going to be a big change or something coming in around the 17th. Okay. Now, somebody's birthday, or uh, someone was born in the year 1974. I'm also going to pull a couple of charms to go coincide with this. All right, they just told me Disney. First of all, first off, they just told me Disney. Okay. So someone's born 74 or there's an age, uh, the age around 47. Someone's born in 68 or 67 or 68. All right. Um, Okay, somebody drives a big tr uh, a truck. They just said GMC, a GMC truck. I don't even know if they make them anymore. So maybe that's something they used to drive. I'm not sure if they, if G General Motors Corporation, I guess, GMC. Okay, I just heard C-Lo, C-L-O, C-Lo. <laughs> C-Lo, I don't know what that means. Um, Mm, Garcia. Now they're saying Garcia. Um, now I'm also picking up Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. Okay. Or somebody, if you have like, um, I don't know if you have Disney, a Disney tree. 
Christmas tree or you've got like a Disney um, star or you've got an angel or a fairy somewhere on a tree or a, or a star. And then I'm also picking up fox because I got a fox here that I just pulled. So I want to show it to you. I don't know how. I can't. My nails do not allow me to hold stuff. I don't know if you can see it. It's a fox. Um, so I don't know if you're watching Fox. You watch or somebody watches the Fox channel a lot and get their news source. Um, this also looks like a, a Marvel. I was picking up like a Mar. Uh, okay, so I think there's a Spider-Man movie that came. I don't know. Is that Marvel? Marvel or DC? Like a superhero kind of thing. Um, somebody's name might be Fox or um, something to do with the word Fox. Okay, that's so weird. <laughs> and I know if a specific person is listening to this video and I just pulled a fox after that conversation was just had, that's, <laughs> I think she knows what I'm talking about. Um, okay. Someone has a very strong interest in the Bermuda Triangle of some sort, or there's something to do with Bermuda. Hmm. Okay. And then, um, I'm hearing, um, two names. Oh, oh, I'm just, I just, okay. I heard Irma Jean, right? Which I believe that was Marilyn Monroe. So there might be a connection. Was that her name? Irma Jean? Maybe I think it is. There might be a, um, connection to Marilyn Monroe. I'm hearing. Maybe I'm channeling. Maybe Maryland's here. Everybody say hi. Or someone's from Maryland, the state of Maryland. Um, but I'm also seeing either someone's returning a key to someone or is receiving a key to, to something. Someone's returning a key or getting a key in the month of December. Okay. And... Somebody works in a tavern or a bar, they just said. But they actually, quite frankly, I, got, I picked up bar, but the first message I got before that was barge, barge, B-A-R-G-E, barge. And then I heard bar, and then tavern, tavern, bar. Um, Jolene or... So the initials we have are C, we have a J, there's an O, there's an R, a G, a Z. I actually have two Gs. Uh, no, I have three Gs. Three Gs, that's weird. Oh, three Gs, 3G network, someone has 3G network, they're saying? Or still uses the three, or you're on 3G? I don't know what the heck. <laughs> there's three Gs. Um, and then we have the letter M and the letter E. Okay. Oh, they just say get one more charm. And then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna get going. Oh, beautiful. All right, I just got this. Just gave instantly. They said wedding flower, wedding flowers. Start looking at wedding flowers, or someone's looking at wedding flowers. And there's also. Um, Okay, I'm going to I'm going to spoil the surprise. Don't get mad. Somebody is getting a diamond ring or giving a diamond ring. Okay? And it's going to be inside a flower. So I don't know if it's an actual flower or if it's a cake flower, icing, or if it's in like a flower gift, a paper flower petal of some sort. Or maybe there, or maybe you're connected to that in some way. It's a tiny, small, little. It's a small diamond. It's more like a gift. It's more like it's coming through to me as a gift. Okay. 
So I'm not going to, I was going to pull more charms. They just said stop. So I'm going to leave your reading there, you guys. Again, please do hit join. If you are interested in being part of my channel, you can become a member of my channel. Um, basically what it is, is it's $24.99 a month. Now the reason for that price is because I'm going to give you access that every time you join the live stream, that I will provide for my members, you will be able to ask unlimited questions to pull cards, to get mini readings when I'm live, okay? I usually charge $20 just for one card. This is for, if you pop in the chat and I'm on there for an hour or so, you can ask me like 10 questions. So you're basically paying $24.99 for like say, $20 times 20 questions, $240 worth of questions, right? So it's a good deal. Um, yeah, so definitely check that out if you want to become a member. Um, it's worth the price. It's, it's not cheap. <laughs> it's just reasonable and inexpensive for those of you who don't want to do personal readings, okay? And um, I'll add more tiers as time goes on, and I'll add more perks as time goes on. We'll see how this goes. But I'm hoping to start this in January after the holidays. Um, but if I'm able to start it earlier, then uh, maybe we'll try and see how that goes, okay? Um, so do hit like uh, on the video, and do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the readings. And again, if you, want, if you do want to get a personal reading with me, just you and I, one-on-one -on, -one on the phone, there's a link in the description box below to do that. Set that up for yourself. And yeah, so those are your messages, Virgo. I love you guys very much. Good luck. I hope all of this works out for you in a positive way, in whatever direction and decision that you make going forward. And um, I will see you next time. All right, love you guys. Bye.